hello students a warm welcome to you all so today we'll be solving a couple of questions from previous year mathematics olympiad international mathematics olympiad which is imo and this is for class 4 students okay so let's begin so the first question here is logical reasoning question logical reasoning questions are usually one marks question so let me write down here it's a one mark question okay and so what you can do here I, i'll uh, start with the question the first question the moment you see the question you can uh, pause the video read the question try to solve it within a minute and then after that uh, after a minute you can check the answers okay let's begin first one which of the following balloons is sixth to, to the right of tenth balloon from the right end in the given arrangement so initially when you read such kind of question you might be little confused where to begin where to start reading how to begin left or right where right so in such kind of question the best approach will be to start reading from the end so let's start so here right end in the given arrangement so we have to read the question backwards right end in the given arrangement so this one is the left end and this is the right end so now you have to see from the right end so 10th balloon from the right end let's see from the right end 10th balloon 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it is g right balloon number g so 10th balloon from the right end is g now go back 6th to the right of g now 6 to the right of g you have to go right of g this will be the right of g 6th to the right so this will be balloon number 1 2 3 4 5 5 and 6 so the answer is m so the correct answer is c m right so such kind of questions initially you might feel little uh, you know confusing and all but as in you practice these are very easy simple questions and the more you practice you can do it way more faster you know like 20 30 seconds is also sufficient for such kind of questions okay let's move to the next question okay so let's see question number 2 so here okay these kind of questions are usually two marks questions so here you have to find the value of heart plus triangle minus a rhombus so in such kind of questions where you have a data given here right the sum of <clears throat> columns and the rows are given right so here in the first column you see there are four columns and three rows are there right so here they have given the sum of all the rows right here all these here 20 kilos so you have all the data given here so the best approach will be to find any row or column which has the exactly same same element okay exactly same symbol either maybe all three or four hearts or triangle or rhombus so here what do we see here there are two different right if you see these if you add these four again 22 but they're all different here also all different here also all different this one also all different this one also all different but here when you see all three triangles right these three triangles add up to 21 so now let me just write down okay i'll use a pen hmm. so what it says this one this one so three triangle plus triangle plus a triangle which is equal to three triangle it is equal to 21 kg so one triangle therefore one triangle will be three triangle is 21 so one triangle will be 21 divided by 3 so it is 7 so now what do we know we know a triangle is equal to 7 we have to find 
heart and rhombus as well right let's move next now see in any of the row or columns where there are two elements and one of the element is a triangle so the moment we start beginning from here you see here right in this you have two hearts and two triangles right immediate the first one only we got so what is the equation now it says two hearts plus two triangle is equal to how much 20 kg so we know triangle right so two triangle will be seven times two which is 14 and here it is two hearts plus 14 is equal to 20 kg so now you know the equation by now by uh, after studying a bit will be uh, able to solve such kind of problems so in this equation 2 heart is equal to 20 minus 14 because from the left hand side to the right hand side when this uh, addition moves plus moves it becomes minus so now it's 20 minus 14 is 6 so 1 heart will be 6 divided by 2 which is 3 okay so we know the value of a heart as well now it's very easy now you just need to find a rhombus where do you see these two and a rhombus i can easily see uh, here do we need to find no this is not there so let's see we can do this one also very easy a triangle plus a <clears throat> heart plus a rhombus so let's take this equation so a triangle plus a heart plus a rhombus so i think sometimes either you can use a uh, while solving such kind of problem you can use symbols as well as you can just write triangle for t or heart for h whatever is faster for you right you have to save your time instead of a triangle you can also write t plus heart is h plus r if making symbols taking is taking time it's up to you right so this is equal to here this one this is equal to 15 kilos so 15 kg now so triangle is how much 7 plus a heart you got it here 3 plus a rhombus will give you 15 kg and see right now i'm writing all kgs kgs here but in such kind of question you don't need to spend a lot of time in writing these because see you have to save time every second counts right so if you know it's a kg there's nothing to worry about in case you have to convert in gram and all then it's fine you can convert it but you don't need to do a lot of steps just try to do as quick as possible so 7 plus 3 10 10 plus a rhombus gives you 15 right now i'm writing kg so that it's first time you know you kind of you could write once and then leave it you know it's a kg right so just try to keep things in your mind and even these kind of problems try to solve some of them in your mind you don't need to write all the steps especially such kind of examinations like you know here you know you know you don't need to write right now i'm writing this question here i'm trying to explain you by writing this whole step but actually may you don't need to you can directly replace it you have to be quick like seven plus three plus rhombus just come to this step after this step you could just come to this step directly that's how you have to uh, you know speed up yourself so it's 10 plus a rhombus here also you can do just immediately and a rhombus will give you not writing 15 minus 10 i mean initially you can but uh, the more you practice you have to come out of such steps you have to be quick these steps are more useful in your school examinations but when it comes to competitive examinations either you write very fast or try to do some of the part in your mind okay so this is five so five kg right so this is five okay so now we need to find out a, a heart that is three plus a triangle which is seven minus a rhombus which is 5 so 3 plus 7 is 10 10 minus 5 is 5 so the answer is 5 kg so the answer is C 
five kg. Got it? So you you want you don't need to sp spend this much time. You have to have a half speed. At least try to finish such question in one minute, max. Okay. So let's move to the next question. And this one is usually two marks question. Let me write down here. This is a two marks question actually. And these are all previous year questions for grade fourth. Next. Okay, so yeah, this one is also a two marker. Okay. So now let's read the question. Same way, you, have, you can just read the question and immediately you can pause it. In fact, while reading the question, uh, you have to that one, I, when I say one minute, 1 1.5 minutes, two marks question, it should be reading the question as well as solving it. You know, in the moment you see the questions on the screen, just pause it and start solving it. Okay. And after just initially, you might take some of the questions might take a bit more time, but the more you practice, the faster you become. Okay, let's read the question now. The figure shows weight of different toys. So there are toys here. What is the total weight of an apple? You need an apple weight. So what is the question? The question is apple always read the question while reading sometimes people calculate something else and tick something if they're in, in such a hurry so you have to remember what is the question asked and such questions you know just quickly underline it you know whatever the important point just underline quick while reading only you know it is asking the weight total weight of the apple a doll and a toy car so what it is asked all three the total weight of apple doll and toy so let's take apple quickly right a d for doll right and t for a toy car, or maybe a car c for a car okay so now let's solve this problem so <clears throat> okay now here in such kind of questions uh, yes i'll use this marker in such kind of question you should always try to see what is the similarity between these three you know like what are the common elements okay so what i see here is okay in this two you have car and doll car doll and car so don't you think a car and a doll here this one a car and a doll so it it can fit here a car and a doll here so when you fit this one here, this weight, which is what? 160 grams. This is in grams, right? 160 grams. So this will be 160 grams, isn't it? And once we know this, we can easily find the car weight. Okay. So at least a car will be solved. So let's try like that. All right. Okay. So the equation will be, we have to... Write the equation a car a plus a doll gives you 166. 160, I'm sorry, 160 grams. So, right now I'm writing grams, but you don't need to write grams and all while solving, especially these kind of questions. You know, objective, you just have to find out the answer. And car plus doll plus one more car gives you 240 right so it's 240 grams understood no need to write and all you don't try to save time so c plus d c plus d is a common element right so we can replace 160 here 160 plus c will give you 240 so when we solve this question it gives you c is equal to what this there is no sign here, right? That means it's a positive number. So positive goes here, it becomes negative. So 240 minus 160 gives you, so 80, right? 40 here plus 40 this side gives you 80. So C is 80. The car weight is 80. So now we know the car, which is 80. Just write down here, okay? So from we know the weight of a, car now since we know weight of a car here can't we find a doll because car plus doll is equal to 160 so what is the weight of a doll Do, doll is equal to 160 minus a 
car which is 160 minus d which is uh, one uh, sorry uh, 80 so 160 minus 80 gives you 80 so this is also 80 grams this is also 80 grams so d is 80 grams okay so this is 80 now for finding apple weight we can only use this equation right so it gives you two dolls right we can write dolls plus dolls or we can write two dolls right two dolls plus an apple gives you 200 grams right so okay my mistake apple huh so two dolls is how much one doll is 80 grams so two dolls will be 160 grams so 160 plus an apple gives you 200 so an apple gives you 200 minus 160 is equal to 40 right so you get 40 grams so apple is 40 and what it is asked total weight that means 40 plus 60 plus 80 now 80 80 gives you 160 and 160 plus 40 gives you 200 so the answer is 200 grams so the answer is b 200 grams okay so even this kind of problem you know you have to be quick in your equation making you know you have to uh, be like you don't need to write that many steps you know some of the steps you can just solve it in your mind and try to be as quick as possible okay and the first approach should be to find a common element okay common element or common symbol okay common element is very important because most of these questions there will be a common element which can just fit into some of the equations right so that's all for this video thanks for watching if you like my video please press the subscribe button so that you can follow me for many more videos i'll be uploading many maths and science videos soon so you can just keep a track. Thank you so much for watching.